Yo, Realize what's what? What? People don't watch this because they want a good interview. People watch this because they want to make fun of you. Fine, whatever. What's going on, everybody? It is Roush, and welcome back to the postseason interviews of the Pokemon Speedruns Draft League Le 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 Season 3. Today I have with me Roush, coach of the Huntsville Heat Ran. Say hi, Roush. Hi, Roush. He actually planned this three times over. All right. I, the first time was off the cuff. The first time I didn't even mean to. Sure. And you know what? This has already been so good I didn't even start on the wrong slide. All right, let's jump into it. So Roush had a team of Zygarde 50%. Tangro. Which is... All right. Can I, can I go through the list? <laughs> no, you can't. Go ahead. If you want to go through the list, then go through the list. <laughs> Zygarde, 50%. Tangro, Sylveon, Empoleon, Claydol, Shuckle, Mega Glade, Crobat, Incineroar, Zerkatry, and Greninja. You skipped your favorite Pokemon. Zygarde, 50%. Tangro, Sylveon, Empoleon, Claydol, Shuckle, Mega Glade, Crobat, Incineroar, Zerkatry, Gren. Alright, close enough. What? What am I missing? You're missing your favorite one. Claydol. Says, I said Claydol, and Pauline and Claydol struggle. Alright, alright. Go through them. Go ahead. I want to know your opinion on each one of these. I, I hate Zygarde. Zygarde has one of the most broken moves in Pokemon history, and th it's Thousand Arrows. You know, what's the one thing that Ground doesn't really want to hit? Flying types. What does it do? It hits flying types. His nickname is Barf because he's a mog. Well, I have those. What? Oh, oh. He's oh, a okay. half man, I'll half dog. He's his own best friend. For people who don't know, the reason he has this on his team despite hating it, so I couldn't have it, he intentionally sniped me. That's not entirely true, but it's not entirely false either. I didn't snipe it. I just picked no. it so that nobody else would. Oh. Yeah. And it didn't do a gosh doodly darn thing for the entire first half of the season. And then the second half of the season, I brought it to all but one match and it racked up 20 kills. Yeah. Because it's now stupid. It's, it's brain dead. It needs to be banned. Oh, now you're turning it to smoke on me, huh? <laughs> no, it's not that broken. Literally just bring go. ice coverage. I don't have any other four times weaknesses on my team anyway. It doesn't matter. Tang growth ask, was... what? Did you ask me to interview you just so you could disagree with me the whole time? Because it's going great. No, it's going terribly, and I really didn't want you to interview <laughs> me for this exact reason. That's what I wanted, Jake. I wanted hey, somebody yeah. who would actually be supportive. People will like this better, who cares? I mean, I know a couple of people would. Anyways, Tangrowth. I literally drafted Tangrowth. I was like, I need a bulky grass type. And I was like, well, you know, th th it's a Tangrowth. I, I've never really used one before, so I might as well use it. And I was like, hey, it's got, it's a, it's part of a Regenerator Court, which I never f uh, countered up on. It literally is the only Regen Mon on my squad. And I was like, ah, we'll make it work. It's only direct. It, I wait a second. It got two kills the entire season. One, it got a passive kill on turn one. And the other one, it killed a Tapu Bulu with the exact same move. You drafted Tangrowth purely because it was a Zygarde counter, and you know. You didn't want any counters of that thing. You knew it was too good. Sylveon. Uh, I drafted Sylveon because one of the things that I really like having is a very solid Cleric. I like having wish support, and I like having, like, heal bells and stuff, and Sylvia and, like, fit the bill, and, um, it actually proved to be an offensive threat more often than it being a defensive threat. I like it. It was fun. Like it oh. more than Florgus? No. Why? Florgus has, well, I mean, they both end up with four moose slot syndrome, but... I, the only I... advantage of Florgus is synthesis and default. Exactly. Synthesis is a huge advantage. If I want to slap a Calm Mindset, it's so much easier to have um, Synthesis dual coverage. Rather than with Sylveon, I literally have to go with Wish and like figure out what's going to happen three turns in advance. It's it not reliable. You can't support the team. 
you have Florgus to have gets defog. Florgus gets defog. Yeah, Sylveon get is slightly more tankier, yes, and it passes or wishes with more HP. What? That We're not mean. talking about Agron. I said if your teammate was a, if you had a Mega Agron as a teammate, you'd very much prefer Sylveon. Speaking of which, you have the best defogger in the game as your next. Can I can I talk about like nicknames here for a second? I thought we'd do that at the end. Oh well, fine then. We'll do it at the end. I already went over Barf. Anyways, best defog in Polion, um, whom I believe clicked the defog move once, and set up rocks the like the same turn or something like that, or the next turn. Yeah, it it was used more of an offensive threat than anything else. That's how it should be used. It literally only got kills versus one team. I don't care. It did more work in that game than ever before. I mean, it was a choice spec set, and it was against a team that was weak to water. It was... No, you had the ability set one week as well. No, I brought it three weeks. times. I actually brought it three different times. Oh, good. Uh, actually, well, the first one doesn't technically count, because that was the agility defiant in the side match that I had with Ranger Squid, but you know what, it, hey, it still exists. Um, then I have Worst Rapid Spinner, the Clay Doll. I originally wanted to draft it because I was like, hey, it sets rocks. It spins hazards, excuse me. You put this in tier 4, and that's the biggest mistake you made all season. Why, thank you. I'm still regretting that. I could have had it as a tier 5 pick, and would have been able to pick a tier 1 mon instead of... That. Well... Incineroar, no, you to wouldn't. be honest. No, you wouldn't. That's not how the math would work. I would have to draft something else as a points. tier 4. Alright, but hear me out. No. You could have switched Claydol to tier 5 mid-season, and I don't think anybody would have cared. It's that bad of a Pokemon. Everyone knows it, even Claydol. Then the integrity of the league. I have pride. Claydol's Anyways, the fine. other reason why I want a Claydol is because it is an Edgequake resist. And it also happens to resist fighting. Which would be nice if its special defense and physical defense were swapped. Since a lot of fighting type moves end up on the physical side of the spectrum. Alongside ground and rock. It's a Terrakia encounter that dies to two banded close combats. That's Claydol's existence. Yep. That's, that's it. Tier 5. Next. Agreed. Shockle. I got it to set webs. Set webs twice. You did more work than Clay at all. I'm proud of you, Shockle. Yep. He actually got a Stealth Rocks kill. Or was it a Toxic kill? It got a kill. I mean, I got an Infestation kill. It's something. Okay, that's not entirely fair, because the thing was Toxic for four turns, too. I don't care. Where is the shuckle kill? I have to figure out what the shuckle kill was before we move on. It's passive, so... But I know it's it passive. Rock. I thought it was rocks. It was. Oh, it killed your Celesteela! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was shuckle. Mega Gallade, um... I drafted Mega Gallade to be a, an offensive wall breaker. At that point in the draft, actually three rounds earlier, I turned around and realized I was the only person who didn't draft a Mega at that point, so I was free to whatever Mega was left on the field, and I didn't have to draft it until my final pick, and I had the second to last pick in the entire draft, so Mega Gallade is the second to last pick in the entire draft. Um, for me, it was down to, did I want Mega Gallade or Mega Metacham? And I felt like Mega Gallade would be more fun for me, because I don't like Metacham at all. And I was right. Mega Gallade was a lot of fun. Its move pool is interesting and fun. I think Mega Metacham would have benefited you more in terms of speed tier balancing. But otherwise, yeah. No. Pretty high jump. No. Here. I would have had a drop off from 122 to 100. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would have. No, no you're, you're right. You're right. I... <laughs> I misread. Yeah. 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 Learn to read, nerd. 
Yeah, just learn to read when it's 360 feet. Alright. And Crobat. literally speed tier them on. Uh, Crobat, that's really all it was good for. Uh, besides throw up a taunt, roost a couple times, and... It only died once. How did that happen? It only died once, and I think it was... Oh yeah, that's right, because I decided to bring Nasty Bat, and it did jack. You only brought it three times. Yeah, it was Stallbreaker the other two, and it actually did something. Never bring Nasty Bat, it sucks. I couldn't even oh. kill... I couldn't even kill an Escavalier with it. Alright, I'm gonna make sure I bring it when we lodge. Just because. Just fine. Whatever. See what happens. It sucks. Incineroar, um... I... was looking for a fire type, and I was like, what fire types are in tier 3? Uh, Rotom Heat was gone at that point, I think. Might have been gone. I don't remember. But I was like, hey, here's this big boy Incineroar. Let's draft Incineroar. It wasn't the worst decision that I'd made, but it wasn't the best one either. It gets Intimidate, and in terms of bulk, it is, on paper, not in reality, almost as bulky as Swampert. The only difference is Incineroar swaps out 5 HP for 5 attack, and let me tell you, that 5 HP makes a huge difference. No, it doesn't. It has yes. Intimidate. Incineroar, Incineroar's type defensive coverage is so garbage. It is weak to like seven. Rock. Water, rock, to rock, ground. Water, rock, ground, fighting. Fighting. Not very. Oh, maybe it is only not four. Bad. But those four are so stinking common that it's almost not worth. In what world did you come up with seven? My own. It, it's garbage. I'm like, it, it's its moves are terrible. Like, I mean, it's got flare blitz, yeah, but dark as an offensive type, you have knockoff. And I mean, it's a slow U-turner. It wasn't again. It wasn't the worst idea that I had for this draft, but it definitely wasn't the best. All right, All right. Zerka I have two questions about Incineroar. Really quickly. I, I honestly want to know this. This interview if, is going to take 40 minutes. Very good. I'm making fun of you the whole time. Fine. So, if you had the choice right now, would you have drafted Ember over it? No! Okay, good. Second, I th how many times did you use Z Zerkatry, and would do you think the Z would have been better on Incineroar? Uh, no and yes. Wait, yes and no. I asked how many times. That's not a yes or no question. No. Just move on. I'm done with this. All right. So Zerkatry. I originally grabbed. Uh, I wanted it to be a uh, wall buster, and to be honest, it kind of was. Except for the fact that literally Gallade cleaned up before it could ever step in. That's what happened. Some other mon managed to take the spotlight before I could even get to Zerkatry. Except for the one week that I really should have brought Zerkatry because it absolutely wrecked, but I didn't bring it because I was like, oh, let's just bring in Cineroar instead, and it sucked. Hey, I just realized you could have also gotten Darmanitan over Incineroar. Darmanitan was the tier three. I still think Incineroar would have been better in that aspect. I needed something. Need I needed something that could actually take a hit. You know what? Move on. I don't want to hear any more about your bad opinion. So, the reason why I wanted Zerkatry, um, I threw a Z-Crystal on it because, you know, 83 is a garbage speed tier, and I don't want to bring Scarfed every week. Um, so I was like, yeah, let's take advantage of the, its wonderful Z-moves in Z-Electric Train, which I brought once, and Z-Hypnosis, which I brought twice. Never got to use them, because the one time that Zerkatry actually got to click a move in, a, in, in, in battle, it was the sub- protect set <laughs> what yeah it was sub protect oh. versus ranger squid that was the only time that it ever got to show its lights that's it because the rest of the team just beat everything before i could even get to it maybe the z crystal would have been better on incineroar but i certainly I... wouldn't have been able to run the moot or the other items that okay. i ended up using 
not only did I just say that, and you purposely disagreed with me so you could say that now, but you could have put it on Zygarde, which you did. I had it on Zygarde. It off, because you moved it off of it. Yes, because I realized that Greninja needs more power. Because Greninja... Circuitry! No! Yes. No, you I wanted it on it. circuitry. Nah. You're so wrong. The, the reason why I took the Z-Crystal off of Zygarde and put it onto Greninja actually was more for Zygarde's benefit. So that Zygarde could be holding leftovers most of the time instead of uh, the Z-Crystal. Because I needed Zygarde to have more survivability like every single time. Because in the early season, it was dying before it could click a move. Because it you didn't have a survivability item. You don't have to do you that. Can't you can't put a Yachi Berry on it if it's you holding can. a Z-Crystal. You don't have to put a Z-Crystal on it. Exactly. And you I wasn't using the Z-Crystal. I wasn't using the Z- You can run really? Z-Haze. No, that's not good enough. That's, that doesn't accomplish the goal. Then now I'm wasting a move slot that could go to something better like Substitute. That's your own fault. Well, you know what? It's the second rank <laughs> MVP in the league. Shut up. And a Greninja. Uh, I want it another decently fast Mon. Uh, it actually has decent power. It has a decent move set, which is why I wanted to pair it with a Z Crystal. Even though my, well, one of my Z Crystal sets ended up getting destroyed by a non Sucker Punch Absol. Yeah. Because that's, uh, that's great when that happens, huh? Yeah, because in some world, Jake that's forgot to bring it. Anyway, that's my that's my team. We're moving on. It's set highlight time. And we're highlighting a kind of garbage set that really didn't do much at all. Which just so happens to be the only other time that I brought Z-Gren. And it didn't even click the Sub-Zero Slammer button, did it? Oh, no, no, no. Let, no. let me explain this real quick. Hold on. No, you no. Can I? All right. Let me. No, no. Let me. No, I did not. You knew this was coming. Feel free I to did. rant about the battle once I get the page pulled up. But let me explain what this spread was supposed to do. All right. 285 HP, 203 attack, 180 defense, 305 special attack, 178 speed, 300. That's spadaf, not speed. I can read 367 speed. This thing was designed to... Mega Altaria. It was designed to Z the Mega Altaria. It was designed to bait in the Mega Altaria and kill it. What it ended up doing was taunting a Celesteela. Actually, no. This thing was also supposed to lure in uh, a potential um, Chestnut, too. Bait it in, then Iceum Z, because Iceum Z KO'd most variants. U-turn was there for momentum. Taunt was there to stop Spikes and Leech Seed. Spikes itself, so that way I could have a chance in the late game to beat something like Mew and Mega Altaria and, of course, Ice Beam because I needed an offensive move there and it, it did damage. I don't see a world in which a Chestnut switches into a Greninja. In most cases, Ice Beam's a pretty obvious move. Yeah, but is it really doing enough, though? Yes. Regular Gren is not that powerful. Unless I slap a Choice Specs or a Z-Crystal on it, which I did. Would you just blindly switch a Chestone into a Greninja? No. Especially once you reveal Ice Beam, which you have to. You didn't know that I would have to reveal it. I could have revealed all of my other moves but Ice Beam. Could have gone into Lantern and it would have been over. Alright. By so... the way, speaking of Lantern, hi. I lantern, you know that spikes you wouldn't have taken if he didn't crit me? Yeah, that's what this game came down to. A single crit on my Altaria. Huh. I wonder what would have happened if he didn't do that. This is why I didn't want to do this. I know. I waited for this for so... Actually, more like 15. There's the shuckle kill. <laughs> I hated this Mew. I was... I was so close to bringing X Scissor, but I didn't because I was no, like, you no, I "No, I was. No, I seriously was." Because I was like, "No, Gino's—he's gonna do it. He's gonna bring." Well, actually, no. I was thinking he's gonna bring Z Mew, which 
X Scissor would have still done more than Kanakoff. Imagine if I brought Z Snatch against your Glade, that would have been great. That would have sucked. Yeah, I know, for you. Wait, anyway. So Lazzle gets Snatch? Z Slash Mew, but yes, it does. And that just happened. That didn't happen. Game would have been over it. So it's. Well, it was 2v4, now it's 2v3. I am going to roost until I can Cotton Guard. And I need to get over 70% to use Cotton Guard, which is fine. But of course, no, that will never happen because I don't know. I literally decide that on this turn, now's the time. Yeah, you chose to crit here. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. First you crit in the match. Game. First and crit in the match. Then Chestnut takes 19% min, so it dies because it's a banded Zygarde, and now this thing can't live a U-turn and just dies to Hazards and Rouse cheats to win the game. I didn't cheat. You didn't click the defog button. You would have killed me. Yep. Okay. Zygarde's I mean, a cheat. Zygarde literally has plot armor. Zygarde sucks. Do you agree with me yet? The host. Actually, I agree that you cheated, but whatever. Move on. Alright. Bracket time. Let's talk brackets. Alright. Oh, wait a second. That's supposed to be your line. Never mind. You wouldn't do it anyway. Okay. I was going to. Were you? Alright. Do it then. No. No? You do it. Alright. So, for the top left corner, I feel like... Hear me out on this, but I feel like King K and FN Crazy are going to have a crazy-ass match. But I feel like FN's going to come out on top. Then Dolphin's yeah, going to take over him. I think yeah, Meebs is going to beat Ranger because Ranger's going to choke. And then I'm going to beat Meebs because I always beat Meebs. Um, I feel like Ninja's going to beat Yaga because she won't understand. She doesn't have the patience to deal with Ninja's shenanigans. But then Gino's just going to steamroll him because Gino understands how to play versus that team type. And he only knows Gen 2. I'm not saying he only does, but he's clearly better at it than anything else. And uh, then on the last slot, I'm actually going with Sun Rikasha. Okay. I think, I think out of those three, any of them could win, but I feel like Sun Rikasha with the momentum that he's gained, and I, I just feel like Sun's going to be able to take it down. I think that's just... The, that's the quarter that nobody knows what will happen, but we can guess. Yep. No matter who wins that round one match, I think they're getting past Gorgon into the semis, though. And then I have a final of Battle Dolphin versus Geno, and okay. I think Geno comes out on top because Dolphin will not be able to break that defensive core. I think he can break it, just because my team is somewhat easy to wear down for his, and because he's going to bring the dumbest set I can imagine. Like, Actually, you know what? Tail? I just remembered. He's got that Mega Galilee. Why is that thing a problem? Well, for my team? Yeah. That thing would, that thing would be a big problem for my team. Yeah, once the Lazzle goes down. Ew. Yeah. Oh. I looked into this matchup a bit, and I'm not happy. But... <laughs> I'm just like thinking of it now. I was like, that thing actually deals a problem. Why are we telling him this in the interview? <laughs> oh, don't do. <laughs> Gamesmanship, my dude. Ah, uh, great. I have to bring Cobalion to deal with it now, and I hate Cobalion. Oh, actually, shut I won't a biscuit. do that. I have a better idea to deal with it. I already thought about the matchup a bit. It's fine. Anyway, if that's what you think, who do you think would win the... Crap! Race? What? I was going to say, do you think the potential third place game would go to you no matter who wins the top right? No, I think I lose to Sun Rikasha. I think really? I lose... Yeah, I think I get fourth place in this. Hmm. Okay. Because the, like... I... I have problems versus Sun Rikasha. But what if Jake were to win? Mm, 
I have other problems versus Jake. But I think I'd take that match a little more seriously instead of trying to go with gimmicky Z Mind Reader and Nasty Bat. Nasty Bat. And I'd actually think to be ready for an Azumarill. Yeah, that Azumarill is a very big problem for you. Oh, well, it I made it. It shouldn't have been, and it wasn't. I just... It was a complete oversight on my part. I'll be honest. Before you guys even started building, because I he asked me for help like a week before your game was even supposed to start, I was the one who said, Belly Drum Azumarill crushes his team. You should use it. So, yeah. That was my fault. No, it's not your fault. It's the, it's the truth. It exists. All right, grade me, you son of a biscuit. Okay. I think, in terms of battles, you have an A. Because you generally do play well, even though you cheat. Take a look. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, fine. I may have forgot something. I may have actually erased it, too. Oh, good. Okay. Wait. Never no, I didn't. Hold on. I got this. You know what? Most We're doing this on the fly. We're doing this on the fly. Professional here, everybody. Yep. 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 I I think I've already told you exactly how many cares I give about this one. Yeah. You wouldn't let me do it if you actually cared. Everybody's just going to watch this and be like, why is he letting this happen? Anyway. You've got to be kidding me. That. Where is it? <gasps> no. Where did I leave it? I had to leave it somewhere. It's nowhere. Why is it nowhere? Very good. What have I done? All right. You know what? Here. Here we go. This is what we're doing. You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. <laughs> yep. We're doing this. All right, everybody, this is Summer Kasha's. Oh, okay. Nailed it. Done. All right, nice job. Did it, everyone. Yep, yep. I didn't even have time to make fun of him. <laughs> what? You have uh, plenty uh, of time nothing. to make fun of me. Just keep going. Okay, well, in that case, you crit my Altaria, and that makes you cheat. Okay, well, How is... you have an A because... <laughs> <laughs> Why does that give me an A? <laughs> because you generally did play well, but I will get into the other... Often. Okay. You do play well. Thank you. But this is where I'm probably gonna say more. Team building. I'm gonna give you an A minus. What? Yes. What is wrong with you? You asked me for my opinion. I'm giving you my opinion. I don't like your opinion. You think of me too highly. <laughs> I'm going to give you an A minus because it wouldn't look right if you had an A and a C. Even though if it were up completely, I would have given you an A. For team building, I'm giving you an A minus. I only have plus. symbols up to D D plus. That's as low as I can get. Okay, then leave the D plus. Okay, Just talk D plus it is. Go. Okay, so I think when you team build, you overestimate your opponent, or you. I think the best way to put this is. You go too far when it comes to preparing for something. You just outplay yourself in building. Why, like thank you, you did with Jake. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, all right. I no. I just let it run too loose. I let it run too loose. I you... wait a second. That's exactly what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> you'll be like, oh, this will work. This will counter this. But then. You'll go a step further when you don't necessarily need to, and it does affect your team builds. <laughs> it doesn't affect you in the game, but it does affect your team builds. It kind of showed against me, but it worked out well. Oh no, that, that was that was a that was a match execution problem. You clearly did not watch the video. Three different times I said, "Oh, it's checkmate," and then I'm like, "Oh wait, no, it's not." <laughs> hey, so remember that time that Ranger tried to draft Blossom? I remember that time when Ranger actually did draft Blossom. I have one thing to say to both you and him if he watches this interview. He will. Thank you.
What? You will get that. And I'm sure at least four people will. I don't think it will. Loud enough. And I, I don't it think so. It... In that case, I'll just do it again. There we go. I can't that. tell if you're crushing a water bottle, doing a giant face palm, or cracking a keyboard in half. See how that's what I wanted. <laughs> this has been a train wreck of an interview. Yeah. Well, we're not done yet. Oh no, we're we're more than done. No, we're not done yet. All right, overall, I'm giving you an F minus. I can't go that low. You're gonna have to be a little bit. All right, all right. Overall, I'm giving you an A minus. All right. Why? Because you crit my Altaria, and I will never. Let Why you is go. that an A minus? <laughs> all right, all right. Your Zerker tree never died. That's my reason. Actually, no. It. It, it never, never died. died. That's no. Surprising. Your electric type. It, things yeah. tend to happen that way. I have no clue why. They just never do. Like the even types ever die. Like even when I drafted a regular Manectric, I it never died, and I brought it to like three matches. Well, if you draft another electric type, I'll be sure to kill it. Well, I I I, I generally believe that electric types are good for drafts to have, so you'll get that opportunity. Yeah, I know. And that's why my best electric type I didn't even get till mid season. And I'm so proud. That's cute. Spaceballs. Yeah. Barf. Half man, half dog. Yogurt is the man who learn who knows about De Schwartz. De Schwartz is De Schwartz. Merchandising. I like. I don't know. I just wanted Napoleon to be named that. I don't even know why. Dot Matrix because Claydol looks like it should be a droid. Buckle this because. Buckle this was actually the entire reason why I wanted the Spaceballs theme. Literally just buckle this. Dark Helmet, Shut. because Gallade is like the Dark Knight, and the Dark Knight is Dark Helmet. Princess Vespa, because I didn't have anything better to name it. Lone Star, because Incineroar looks like a badass cowboy. Philip Asshole, because he's the gunner. He shoots things, like Thunderbolts. And ludicrous speed because Greninja is generally faster than the average bear. That's it. Okay, we'll see some making fun of Incineroar, including this whole interview.